everyone i hope you're having an amazing day um so today what we're going to do we're going to talk about actions that will be the last part of the lightning customization then we can move on to uh other topics related to platform app builder uh certification uh so i want to talk about uh actions which are very important there are two kinds of actions i want to talk about uh one is the global action and one is the object action which is related to specific action right object so uh so when I talk about, uh, let's look at um, uh, object action first, right? So when I talk about object action, right? So you might wonder what I'm talking about, right? So let let me go back to my custom object, right? Uh, so before I start demonstrating uh, actions today, just usual uh, housekeeping stuff, right? You need to register uh, to an org first, right? And I would insist that you need you should do hands on. Right, because it's very important that you need to know what you're doing, right? And then uh, please do not try this on the customer sandbox. That's why I said to always register for a free org. Cool, nice and easy, right? Nothing fancy. So, and I'm gonna uh, continue with the same uh, custom objects I've created. So, if you haven't watched my previous video, I will highly encourage you to go and check it out. It's not a marketing uh, campaign. It just uh, for you. It's a prerequisite. That's all. Because otherwise, you might wonder what this is. Beer object is all I'm talking about, right? Cool. Sounds good. Okay. So let me take you back to the this, this beer Friday, right? So when I talk about uh, actions, right? When I talk about object specific actions. So if you go to this record, you see this one new case in demo two, right? So I'm gonna add an action here, right? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So these are so. So these are specific to an object. That's what uh, an action I'm going to do, right? Uh, object action. Whereas when I talk about a global action, you don't have to go to a specific object to see that action, right? You can go here, plus sign, and it's, it's uh, visible to any object page you are, right? I can go to contact, let's say, right? Uh, sorry, contacts, and I can go to this. Uh, you, you can see that these actions are still there, right? These are global actions. So we're going to talk about uh, the action related to an object first then we're going to do create a uh, global action it's a nice and simple there's nothing fancy right cool so let's go to the uh the page as a setup so the way to do go to setup is pretty straightforward go to the scale cog icon and uh, go to edit object right and then go to object manager and it takes you to the beer friday object right which is nice and easy now go to button links and action. So we're going to create a simple action, a flow probably, new action, right? Um, so we're going to do, so we're going to do a create a record. No, we're going to do flow, right? Create, and you can do, uh, we, can, we can do my, uh, you can do my flow action, right? You can name that. You can have whatever you want, whatever makes sense to your uh, business requirement, right? So I just wanted to keep it very nice. So what, what we will do is that it will create a um, an account, right? That's all it's going to do. And I'm going to click on save. So, um, and that's pretty much it. So, and then you go to setup here, right? And then you need to drag and drop drop that uh, action to your page layout so we're gonna go to object manager again and then we're gonna go to the beer Friday uh, object and we're gonna do page layout I'm gonna talk about beer Friday this is the layout we are using if you followed my previous episode you will, you might remember that I've created a new page layout and associated the page layout to this profile right nice and easy okay so go to uh, mobile action here uh, and you see something called my flow action here, right? So uh, drag and drop. Uh, at times you might find that Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action is not enabled. So you will get a message here to enable it. So uh, what I meant by that, I'll show you what I meant by that. If you, let's go to other layout, right? And you see, you will see something like this. Action in this section are uh, predefined by Salesforce. Uh, you can click on uh, override, right? So you will get that option, what what I've shown you just now. Uh, so go to beer, uh, new layout, right? So you will see something like that, okay? Uh, go to mobile action here and just drag and drop this one here, right? And then save, okay? And uh, 
So let's go back again. Okay, so we are dealing with Lightning Experience. Uh, so we're not dealing with the Salesforce Classic Publisher, so we're dealing with Lightning, so that's why I dragged them up to here, right? Okay, so that's nice and easy. Now let's go back to um, uh, the Beer Friday, right? And then we go here. And uh, we're going to go to a record here, right? And there you are. You got an action here. So you just see. So it's going to create an action here. Nice and easy. So account name, you can say uh, Dem Captain America account, right? Um, right. That's pretty much it. Finish. Okay. So we're going to go to account. Um, so we're going to go to account here. And there you are, you have a basic Captain American account, right? So, I mean, you might see a lot of junk data. You must wonder what is this ACCC, right? It's just a dump, jump, uh, junk data. When I was doing a uh, course for a platform developer one, right? I, I fiddled with a lot of data, so that's why you see this data. So I've used the same work to teach a platform developer one as well. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice and easy, right? So this is about... Uh, object action right now let's talk about publisher action so the way to go create a, a global action right um so, uh, so you need to go to setup page right so the way to go to setup page go to get cog icon here and go to setup and uh <clears throat> excuse me and uh, uh just type here global right and global action here okay and then create a new action all right, uh, so create a record, uh, and then what What do you want it to do? That's pretty much it is. So let's say I want to have a global action where I can create an account, right? I don't have to go to specifically to an account object to create it. I would like to create a global action where I, anyone, you know, it doesn't matter irrespective of an object I am, I should be able to create an account, right, by going here, right? So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to account here. Um, and then uh, I'm just giving an example, right? You can use whatever you want based on your business requirement. Just to give you a very, very simple example to make you understand the concept. Right, uh, so I'm gonna do create uh, and create new, um, new account, right? So that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna save it. Okay, now you saved it, so these are the fields which will be visible, so that's fine. If you wanted to add more, you can add to it, right? If you wanted to capture other stuff, you can drag and drop from here. That's your choice, right? Uh, as I said, again, it's based on the business requirement, right? We want to keep the demo nice and simple, so we're going to stick to the default options. Cool. Okay, quick save. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to go back to uh, setup again. So now... We have done this. Now we need to drag and drop the concept to the publisher layout. So we're going to go here and we're going to edit this, right? And uh, <clears throat> so uh, see this, uh, create a new account, right? So we're going to drag and drop this, oh, sorry, drag and drop this to, okay, sorry, not this one, right? Because now you might wonder why it's only uh, dragging and dropping to classic, right? Because we are in the quick action. So if you wanted to drag and drop a um, the action which we created to the lightning, you need to go to mobile and lightning spirit, right? And then you drag and drop, you see? You see the difference, right? So since we are not dealing with classic, I mean, classic is an old technology, right? Salesforce is slowly, slowly trying to move away from classic. Although they support it, that's, you know, I'm not sure when they're gonna, uh, you know, stop the support, but for now, just you know, we're gonna stick to lightning. That's that's the future. Okay, save it. Fantastic. Right now, uh, I often love to refresh it. So, you know what I do? Okay, it takes you to classic, which is fine. Okay, I refreshed it. Okay, now go here. You can see create new account. Voila, right? Let's click here. All right, let's put an account name, uh, Iron Man, right? I mean, if you're a Marvel fan, of course, I am. So, uh, industry can put whatever you want. Um, Iron Man doing agriculture? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't, it's into weapon manufacturing, right? So, 
Uh, you know what? I'll just put in technology. That's that suits him better, right? That suits the company better. Iron Man company, right? Okay. All right. So that's the global action, right? Now let's see, uh, just to verify if you have really created uh, an account or not, right? Just to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you are. You got an Iron Man account, um, and whatever fields you're fed in, right? Um, so Iron Man technology, right? Prospect. So that's that's pretty much, you know, you can do. Uh, you can do other stuff as well. It just it depends what you want it to do, right? You need to understand the business requirement, and based on that, you implement the solution. That's pretty much it's all about, right? So that's marks the end of our uh, journey for uh, lightning customization, right? Then we're gonna talk about other topic, right? Uh, so let's go back, let's see what we're gonna talk, app, app builder certification. So as I mentioned that, I am gonna teach you from uh, Trailhead. So that's exactly what I did. And um, so we're gonna go here, right? And uh, I hope you're following along. You're uh, using Trailhead for practice, right? This is what we did, right? And I got talked about the actions, right? And we talked about all this topic, set up an org, uh, create an object, customize. We create a list view, uh, compact layouts we talked about, uh, you know, page layouts we talked about, uh, custom buttons we talked about, and um, actions we talked about, right? Now, the next topic we're going to talk about, you know, the service cloud for lighting experience. We're going to talk about you know, what service cloud is about, uh, administrative service cloud, case management, you know, digital uh, engagement on multiple channels. So this will be more interesting uh, if you are, if you have never used um, uh, service cloud, so this will be interesting, right? Then we talk about, you know, leads and opportunities for lighting experience. So um, it will be interesting, right? Data morning, data morning is a very cool topic. Data management is, is very interesting as well. If you have someone who uh, uh, have done platform development one, uh, you might know we talked about, you know, data, import data and export data. So you can use different tools or, uh, you know, to do that and you can use the salesforce inbuilt tool right data importer and so there are different things we were going to talk about it right and formalize the lighting flows screen flows which is going to be very interesting um so process automation uh, we can talk a bit about it you know chatter administration uh lightning app builder you know that's that's cool uh going to talk about reports reports are pretty straightforward it's not fancy right we're not talking about Einstein, right? It's just a basic report. There are three types of report, right? Tabular, uh, summary, matrix. So we, we're going to look into that, right? So, um, and if you wanted to build a, uh, this one, I'm not going to do, I will let you guys do it, right? And because I wouldn't, I want, because I want you guys to do hands-on. That's very important. That's the main uh, reason why I'm doing the series so that you can follow along and then I can give you an opportunity to go back and you know try by yourself right uh, please don't just listen to my uh, videos and go and attempt the exam right you won't pass I mean I'll be very blunt here right because you need to know you need to understand the concept very well right and even though you may be a super genius but still right a certification can be tricky at times and app builder one is a tricky one Okay, so <clears throat> uh, if you are genuine, if you're not using dumps, you will need to work on it, right? If you're using dumps, yeah, you might pass, but is it really going to work worth it? So I don't think so, right? Okay, cool. That's all I want to talk about it. Uh, so thank you very much for attending. Uh, greetings and adios from New Zealand. Uh, take care and stay safe.